Saints at four and seven. Take I skipped a game, you son of a bitch. Uh, the New Orleans Saints at four and seven, taking on the six and four San Francisco 49ers. Niners favorites in this one uh, by nine and a half points, an over under of 43. Two teams that uh, they have two of the best running backs in the NFL when it comes down to it. And Alvin Kamara and Christian McCaffrey, two of the most versatile running backs in the NFL, and Alvin Kamara and Christian McCaffrey. Um, but one has been used a lot better than the other. Um, but the Saints, they're 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 looking better as, as of late, but a tough task against the San Francisco 49ers, who have one of the best, if not the best, defense in the NFL heading into week 12 here. Um, the Saints tied for most turnovers and worst turnover margin in the NFL. 49ers obviously turning the ball over on defense a lot. Uh, do the Saints what do the Saints have, have to do? Do they, they, do they not have a chance? Yeah, is that where we're at? The 49ers are good, man. Um, I'm going to continue to say it. Even my 49er fans, I don't get what the hate is. Like, they always hate on my Cowboys. Um, sometimes it's okay just to be honest and just say a team is good. Cowboys are good. Like, you can honestly say that. The 49ers are a good football team. Uh, you can't argue that. I don't care how much you hate them. You can try to justify what they are, what they're not. They're a good football team. I told you that I thought this is what – the favorite in the NFC right now is the 49ers to me, despite their six and four record. When they added Christian McCaffrey, they it, it put them over the top for me. They, the versatility, you get Elijah Mitchell back, that helps them even more. Um, the versatility on offense that they're able to, to kind of just play with and navigate uh, makes this team damn near unstoppable offensively. Uh, if, they, if they don't make mistakes and Jimmy Garoppolo and that defense shows up, they're, they're – they're right there. Um, it, it I is, worry about them against high-powered offenses, and that's it. So the only teams that I think will give the 49ers real fits, Kansas City, Buffalo, um, maybe Philly, maybe Philly at times, but I think they'll I think they can bully Philly around. Um and then I think like them and Dallas are very built, very similar. So I think that, that, that would be kind yeah. of a style of, of power on power, but um, yeah, there's not, there's not many teams that, that are, are really just going to go in there and handle the 49ers. Yeah. And the saints offense doesn't have that kind of firepower. Uh, well, really the, the, the offense has not been able to, to do that kind to compete like that um, and have an offense on that level. But who do you think, is it as easy as Andy Dalton has to be the, the the difference maker in this game? Like that's the player who has to step up or maybe like the, the X factor in this game could be like Dennis Allen and coaching, or maybe a defensive player having to match up against a Christian McCaffrey or someone else on that offense. Is it as easy as Andy Dalton though, as the X factor for the Saints? Man, I, I don't, I, I don't know. Um, maybe you, you actually just perplexed me. I don't know what you do. And I haven't looked at all. I mean, I haven't looked at game tapes. I'm not out here trying to scheme up for the Saints. But I'm going to be honest. I don't know that there's a path to victory for the Saints, um, barring the 49ers making mistakes, uh, turning the football over, things like that. I don't know that the Saints can compete. Um, I don't know what you do against the 49ers defensively. You can say you make them run the football, but that's what they want to do. You can say you make them throw the football, but they're really good at play action and they're really good at uh, scheming guys open. And as a defensive minded person, I don't know what you do. I, I <laughs> my, okay. So if I had to, if I just off service level, I'm shutting down Christian McCaffrey. That's my yeah. first. So my first assignment is Christian McCaffrey. My second assignment is this might be bizarre. My second assignment is George Kittle. Um, I am playing probably a lot of man coverage and a lot of man coverage against Devo Samuel and Brandon Ayuk and praying that they don't get the better of my DBs. Now, I think Debo Samuel is a little bit type of different type of receiver. So you're going to need somebody that's physical, that wants to play in his face, that is willing to go behind the line of scrimmage and, and go get him after these bubble screens to not let him get going. But that's what I'm telling my guys all week. It's man to man coverage. Is that Tyron Matthew? I don't know that he's not fast enough to keep up with Debo Samuel. So you can't really put him in man-to-man -man coverage on Debo because he's not fast enough to stay with Debo. Um, ideally, it would be Marshawn Lattimore in, yeah. in, a perf in a perfect world because he could be physical with him. But I don't think he's even fast enough to stay with him. 
So, and I don't know that Lattimore really wants to go chasing Debo Samuel around the field in motion and all that stuff. So um, I, I don't know that there's an answer. I think you just let Debo be Debo and you have to tackle that. This, that would be my game plan. It's shut down Christian McCaffrey, make sure George Kittle doesn't beat us. And if it's going to be <laughs> Debo Samuel, then we have to tackle. Like we cannot miss tackles. If you miss tackles, you lose. And he's hard to tackle. So awesome. there's not a lot of answers. These defensive coordinators, this is what defensive coordinators are thinking. Okay, what do we want to do? Oh, well, then they got this guy. And we didn't even mention, yeah. like I said, Brandon Ayuk. Like he's a really good route runner and he's he's coming on. Yeah. Um, and, and you know, I get he's not the other guys, but he's capable. And oh, so yeah. Oh, yeah. another weapon that you got to worry about. So well, I, it's we saw it last. We saw it last week. Brandon Ayuk had a very good day against the Arizona Cardinals. I mean, if you if you focus on one, if you focus on one, you're going to get burnt by two more. Like that's that's kind of where we're at. I have the San Francisco 49ers in this one. Uh, give me the Niners here. Twenty. Give me the Niners here. Twenty eight to seventeen. I have the Niners winning this one. Thirty one. Uh, Thirty one to sixteen. Niners are three and zero when McCaffrey starts this season for them. When the, since having Christian McCaffrey, three and zero, and they're averaging thirty point three points per game. So that 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 thirty spot uh, might might be a sweet number for the Niners here. As we have a clean sweep, Niners over the Saints. 